almost a message coming from space. <laughs> Welcome back heroes, I'm Space Captain Space and we are playing Mad Max. Now I've been playing this game a little bit before but I'm going to start a new game so that everybody's on the same page. I was really excited about this game because I am a huge fan of the movie Mad Max Fury Road. I can't believe that they came out with something so awesome years after the fact. Uh, that it, you know, I mean, it came out in the 80s and 90s for crying out loud, and it came out even better, even stronger. So I was totally blown away when this thing came completely out of the, uh, out of the, uh, like a lightning bolt in a clear blue sky. I had no idea this was coming, and so I was really excited to give it a try. And uh, everybody thought it was going to be crappy, but it kind of surprised everyone by being totally awesome. So let's give it a try. All right, we're going to save slot down here so we don't ruin my other save. Here we go. Kicks off right out of the gate. Oh man, this is what makes the show so great. Just you witness. I love that part of the show about the movie Witness. How many times? Oh man, if there was only an opportunity in my life, I could actually look and scream Witness, and then just dive headlong into something awesome. <laughs> I don't see you. Price is gone. Man out. Man out. No, no, no. Stick together. This is one clever fox. Clever fox. All right. Boom, sucker. <laughs> That's what makes the show so great. He Explosions. Was one such man, one who had lost all, over and over, and to this he had lost his. A renegade without a cause, a never rolling journey through the, from the wasteland, the laying waste to his enemies. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. Hmm. So, are the planes of silence like inside of his own head, or is it like a physical place that he needs to go to, like he thinks he can get there and save his family or something, or try to find out what happened? But one place to go for fuel. Gas town. Gas town. And the bullet farm. Oh gosh, look at that, not even looking. Oh! Gosh. Uh, <laughs> then he rolls in like a king. What? Oh, man. He seems a little bit top heavy. So does he. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> the bullhorn. You've hunted well. Apostles of awful. Don't get too close to him with that crotch horn, man. A scabrous scrotus. <laughs> so is that like a surname, Scrotus? Did he inherit that from his family, his forebears, or the the, the noble Scrotus clan? <laughs> Who, which which one of his of his uh, past fathers decided to call himself Scrotus? Scrotus. They're like. Mm. We could call ourselves McNad or the Testunctuals. Mm, stay with Scrotus. Scrotus. Let's see. Climbing up. Look at this. Unkillable. Oh! What the? Oh! And that's how you know he's a bad guy. You know he's a bad guy because he kicks dogs and throws them off of cars. Jeez. Nobody cares that we uh, that we shotgunned a couple of humans in the face. But that dog. Oh! Jeez! Think of kittens! <laughs> Think of kittens! Don't, he's still standing up! That guy's dead, right? He's gotta be dead. He's gotta be dead. He's gotta be dead. How many dudes, maybe that's why they call him Scrotus, because he's so bad that you can chainsaw him right through the middle of the head and he can still stand up and throw you off of a moving vehicle afterwards. I might fast forward through these credits. This song's good though. Don't mind. Why does the soul of a man for another brawl? God's 
song is really great. This anybody play Until Dawn? Would not Was anybody else kind of annoyed by the song at the this, beginning? Even if it the six. They took like a really great song and they got this really weird whiny voice to sing it. Created a mortal enemy. Yeah. Well, he also kind of killed a mortal enemy. I mean, who's gonna come after him after he after he chainsaws a guy through the brain? He kind of takes care of your problems, right? I mean, like <laughs> it's not gonna follow you. It's a good thing that shirt fits, right? And always, that's always a bonus when you're uh, half naked in the desert and you come across a dead body. And you're able to uh, find a shirt, a pair of pants that fit perfectly, even a pair of boots, huh? All right, okay, so fine water. All right. Task number one, stop bleeding. Task number two, find water. Look at this, this is so cool. This is like right out of the gate. They knew exactly what they're doing. Look at this. What better way to establish exactly what kind of a world we live in? Crumbling ash at our feet. The sticks just turn to powder as we walk over them. Looks like this used to be some kind of an ocean bottom, and now it's just nothing but a wasteland desert. It's so beautiful. What is it with wastelands that's so awesome? I mean, nobody wants to live there, but we want to play games about it. Fallout's going to be so great. Hey, dog. It's my water. It's your name, water. It's just a little bit of water. There's, a, there's still water in the tray. Oh wait, no, it's just a reflection of the hubcap. All right, drink from the health, the canteen to restore his maximum health. Okay, four. Oh yeah, you know it's refreshing. His mouth's not open. He's just pouring it over his face. Right so far. Gotta find it. Oh man, yeah, that's good logic. The dog is, the dog has let you right so far. Let's find the dog. Hang on just a second, my mouse is showing up on screen. It was doing this before. I mean, it seems like if you go into the menus, click around a little bit, and then go back out. There it goes. Now my mouse is gone. God, arid and dry. Oh! Puppy! <laughs> I love this guy. Chalaka, this man, are you quiet gently? What the hell? Father <laughs> <laughs> was alive inside the other gives birth. So to blaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice. Please, don't kill Chum Bucket. Please. Chum Bucket. What shouldn't I? Chum Bucket, because Claptrap was taken, you know. Yeah, I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies and they snatched the your eyes. Right. I love now that. You'd be about this world. It back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. Everything's got a nickname, you know, like a bunch of middle school right. students. Which is basically what this world is. It's like middle school, right? Yeah. Just a <laughs> just a brutal world of carnage and hatred. <laughs> Coming up with nicknames. Not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. Blackfinger. And I, I think he did too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go straight. No, I won't. I know. That should be a thing. People should call him Blackfingers. We, like, if you're a mechanic, call yourself a Blackfinger. That's a badge of honor right there. Blackfinger. It's pretty awesome. I mean, your fingers are black. Makes sense. It's not a derogatory thing. It's awesome. Just do it. This is great. And plus, you know what? This guy is great. Everybody needs one of these guys in their life. A crazy religious zealot who thinks that you are the universe. I think that'd make life easier. Dog's bleeding out. Oh, I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sink. Close the car. I need wire to fix my buggy. But then, I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path! Uh, but before you go, grab some mm. grit, sake. You must be running on fumes. <laughs> a fetch quest. Right out of the gate. Fetch quest. It's like, oh, hey, listen, explore the world, learn some mechanics. Look at this is great. This is great. Hmm. This is why he was wanting to eat the dog. Just, just shovel it out with your hand there. <laughs> I sure beats eating maggot gruel. Maggot gruel. That's a thing. Maggot gruel. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. 
Alright. Through the crack. Here we go. Mysterious. This is where the wire is. He knows where the wire is. Oh, he got oh. dead, man. Anything for me? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. What was he like? Hiking around, looking, and fell through the hole. Oh. Alright, well. Got a pair of boots that are my size. Uh, no wire. No wire. Okay. Ah, yes. Conveniently marked yellow. Oh yeah, that's what... Let's, instead of climbing it, I'll just ram my face right into the wall. Oh, oh, no you won't, no you won't, no you won't. Oh, you pig! You're going off the wall too. Oh, how you like them apples? Huh? Dish it out if you can't take it, piggy. So, we're looting, we're finding some wire. We gotta get some wire. I gotta say, this is like, for a first episode, you kinda wanna get right into the action right away. We're kinda just like... Fetch quests aren't really what you think of when you think of Mad Max. So, you like, reach in, text message. That's Megan. Hey, Megan. Get you some wire, just rip it right out of the console there, and we'll just run back over to... Claptrap. What's his name? Quasimodo. Mr. Magic Man. Oh yeah, speaking of Magic Man, look at this mysterious Motro. No, not yet. Motro. Mofo. You're not ready. Wait! Well, you're not ready, Mr. Turtle Man. About, man, give him some dog food. Uh, is that oil or is that blood? Oh. Is it here? I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not leaking, are you? Uh, why are you gonna lick me? You gotta drink it. Uh, praise be, praise be. You got the praise wire. Be. Had you soy this, it's just soy this. All right, puppy, come on, puppy. Everybody loves puppy. Everybody loves a puppy. My buggy's come just over me. here. Oh, look at his face. He's a pretty big dog, you know, for living in the wasteland. I don't think, man, I think up until Scrotus got really douchey and kicked him off of the moving vehicle, he was probably pretty well fed. Pretty well cared for. Scrotus the kind. Scrotus the loving. Scrotus lives up to his name. He sounds manly, but he's very soft. Right inside there. Look, there's a place made just for you, even though you didn't exist until just now. We've got the vehicle made just for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, on the right side. This is legit. Just like in Australia. Just like in Australia. Here we go. This is it. This is more like it. Wow! May we arrive in time to save your black on black from slaughter. These barbarians love to chop. Oh, my cool car. They kind of did that in uh, Mad Max Fury Road, too. You're used to seeing that iconic, awesome vehicle that he rides around in, and then, man, There's right out of the gate, they just blow that thing up, rip it to, to pieces. It's gone. You see bits of it pop up every once in a while, but then it just gets destroyed. We can see the camp up there, without risk of detection. From where? 
Okay, okay, look at that. Man, look at the tanker. This was, we're in the bottom of a seabed. That's what that, look at the anchors. Over here. This is amazing. Over. Come look. Oh yeah, we're looking. Yeah, see, this is where the thick brow squat cut. <laughs> Mr. Frodo, there's no way in, Mr. Frodo. Oh, Sam, we've got yeah, Look, there. This camera of Scrotus is the king. Yeah. He's a big boss, but if you're aghast. Oh, my car. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself. himself. Yeah, but he's not here now. You see, I, I don't see the land room. So, Scrotus the kind, please, Scrotus please, the selfish. Please, please. An idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, your hey, black on black is toast. It's this is it, Smeagol. He knows a way around, right? Huh? I, I can build you a car, bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. It's a tall order. No, it's a tall, tall order, Mr. Hunchback. Very. Faster than fear. Tougher than an iguana's gonads. Come, come, come with me. We mustn't be seen. I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what I'm gonna show you, you'll be shouting holy all day long. Well, that does it for episode one of Mad Max. Tune in next time to see some more high explosives and V8 engine awesomeness with Space Captain Space. Live free, my friends. We'll see you next time.